Welcome to this chapter of the Skills to Scale Massive Open Online Course, titled From Idea to Business. This chapter will operate as a small guide on how a young entrepreneur can leverage 5G to create a business out of an innovative idea. Let's assume that you have thought of a sensor that leverages 5G technology to transfer data in real time, and you want to take it to the next step and make a business. There are some specific steps that will ensure that your journey has good chances of success. First, conduct thorough market research. This will help you define the market growth, competitiveness, and scalability of your sensor. Use methods such as surveys, interviews, and data analysis to understand the market's needs and demands, and to validate your idea with potential users, user validation. Moving on, it is crucial especially when working or leveraging such a complex service like connectivity, networks, and beyond 5G technology, that the idea is feasible from a technical and regulatory standpoint. A video for the regulatory framework and how someone can comply with it is available in the 5G regulatory framework chapter of the course. When this is granted, the next step is to produce a prototype and an MVP, minimum viable product. The prototype will test the product and provide the first feedback, and the MVP will test the viability of the product with minimum resources. When developing the product, protecting your intellectual property through patents, trademarks, or copyrights is crucial. After testing the MVP, determine the most suitable revenue streams. Common models include subscription model, customers pay for regular access, offering stable revenue but requiring customer retention. Freemium model. The basic version is free, and there are charges for premium features. This model attracts a broad user base, but it is challenging to achieve balance. Business to business. In this model, the company offers products services to other businesses. The advantages of B2B business models include lucrative contracts, but on the other hand, there are fewer potential customers. Business to customer. Here, the company sells directly to a larger customer base, but faces intense competition and demanding needs for marketing. The last part this chapter will cover is the founder's support. There are several options for a newcomer entrepreneur who seeks financial and guidance support. First, the EU provides funding to national governments, which are distributed through national funding programs that aim to boost entrepreneurship. The EU provides funding also directly through initiatives such as Horizon Europe, the European Innovation Council, and others. Additionally, fruitful support comes by various acceleration and incubation programs or startup centers regarding resources, equipment, and mentoring. Another popular source of funding is crowdfunding through platforms like Kickstarter. Last, VCs and angel investors is the next step of funding, which will take the startup to the next level. A strong pitching and viable business plan are crucial to attract these investors. Last, we must not omit the importance of building strategic partnerships and collaborations. They provide access to resources, market insights, new markets, new customers. It is a very important step to establish yourself in the ecosystem. Thank you for your time and attention. We hope that this chapter was helpful. For more details, do not hesitate to contact us.